Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Last time we talked about two switching methods: packet switching and circuit switching. Today we will discuss another switching method: multi-protocol label switching, or MPLS. Before we get into technical details, let's see an example showing how an IP packet travels over the internet. Suppose an IP packet is sent from Mumbai, India, to Kansas City, Kansas. The destination IP address is two two thirty five dot one o nine dot fifty six. For example, I just make up this IP address. As it is delivered over the internet, many routers would be involved in forwarding this packet along the way. It works like this: the first router would open the packet and read its IP address, and then forward the packet to the next router based on its routing protocols. The next router does the same thing: it would open the packet. Read the IP address and then forward the packet to the next router based on routing protocols. Every other router repeats the same process until the packet is delivered to its destination. This is how packet switching method works. Packet switching is flexible and the data path is not fixed, but the processing IP. Information at every single router slows down transmission. Circuit switching method is a fixed path switching method. It is generally used for traditional telephone communications. It is reliable but more expensive. If you want to know more about circuit switching versus packet switching. You can check this video. MPLS, on the other hand, allows IP packets to be forwarded at a layer two switching level without being passed up to layer three, the routing level. Now let's take a look at how MPLS works with the same IP packet being sent from Mumbai. India to Kansas City, Kansas. Making IP packet process is the same, but this time MPLS label is added to the package. If we look at the package inside, here is MPLS label, which includes special addressing information. It is inserted into between. Layer two header and a layer three header. That's why LPLS label is sometimes called MPLS shim. With MPLS, a predetermined route is established before the IP packet is sent. Along the way, routers only need to interpret the MPLS labels. They never look at the destination IP address. Until at the final destination, these routers act like switches on a local network. As a result, MPLS offers potentially faster transmission than traditionally packet switching networks. In summary, MPLS can create end-to-end -end paths that act like circuit switched connections. But deliver layer three IP packet. As we know, routing is the layer three function, while switching is a layer two function. LPLS makes those routers on the internet act like switches on a local network. That's why MPLS is also called 2.5 layer protocol. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.